Good day. Since we have now a working proxy SG as per our previous uh, videos, today I will show you how to customize the black page or the exemption page in proxy SG. So let's start. So as you can see in our previous video, this is the default black page of proxy SG. So if you want to customize that, uh, just follow these steps. Okay. So first thing, um, the first thing you want to do is to ready your HTML um, code or the HTML uh, black page that you created. So for me, I created my HTML code using the w3schools.com, which uh, this is my uh, configuration. This is my uh, code, and this is the output. So we expect that this output um, will be shown on the user's um, machine when he when they access the black or forbidden page. Okay, wait. So let's start. So this is for me this, the easiest way to configure the black page is using the CLI. So we can also that uh, do the black page using the BPM, but for me, the much easier um, configuration is using the CLI. Okay, so let's start. So, configure terminal, then exemption, then create your name, ex your exemption name. So, Mario Nuggets exemption. So, edit the Mario Nuggets exemption. Alright, so, inline, format, then the end of file marker, which means um, this is the one that he will going to start and to stop the code. So, Mario Nuggets, any, any, uh, this is for any value or in any characters that you want. So, after you press that, it's, um, as you can see, there's a blinking um, um, cursor. So, which means the proxy is um, now ready to accept your code. So, copy the, copy the code that you created and paste it on the terminal. Alright. So, as you can see, there's, there's no okay yet because proxy is waiting for the end of file marker which which is this mario nuggets so expect there's an okay after we paste the mario nuggets yeah it's great this is one okay right then after that http code 403 why is it 403 because 403 is the forbidden code right so which means this black page is linked to um forbidden to http code 403 or the forbidden code so so any users will um will have uh will will can now link and use this um um uh, code then after we create the http code after we create the The uh, this one, the black page. Uh, we will access the our prox our BPM and configure the, for the final um policy of proxy SG. Admin. All right. Go to configuration policy, then visual policy manager. Click on launch legacy. You have a BPM, then click on web access layer. As you can see, there's a uh, default deny. So click right click on that, then click set, then click new, then click return exemption. So as you can see, we can we will rename this one Mario Nuggets Exemption. I uh, block page. Block page. Block page or exemption same. So as you can see, we will if we click this user define exemption, we should have see the Mario Nuggets exemption. Great. So click OK. 
Ah, sorry. Mario Nuggets. Exception. Okay. Mario Nuggets exception. So, click on this one. Install policy. Mario Nuggets exception. Then, we will now test on the client. So, if we will refresh this one, we expect the block page should be the one that we created a while ago. So, refresh. Then, boom. As you can see, this is the uh, block page uh, that the user will see if they access the forbidden site or the block. Um, any company or corporate rules that that um, block by their company. So as you can see, this so the URL is categorized as social engine networking, and the IP address of the users and the username. But of course, this um, user is not. A member of active directory so there's no a u there's no username here and if you click this one the mario nuggets gmail.com um if you have installed uh outlook then it will directly open your outlook and there's a two an email for that and reported by the proxy sg this is the host name of the proxy sg okay so so you can see we have now a working proxy SG, a customized um, black page. So I hope um, this has been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing.